For this termination, I will be using a TDS 8CVR series snap-on style boot. If a slip-on style is selected, the boot must be installed prior to the plug. Using a cable stripping tool such as Elcom's HTS501, remove approximately 2 inches of the outer jacket without cutting the foil or drain wire. Fold the foil back over the jacket in a spiral with overlapping seams. Wrap the drain wire around the foil in the opposite direction of the foil wrap to help hold both in place. Then, remove the clear polyester binder. The TDS-8 PC6 plug features a pair spacer that can be discarded if the plug is being terminated on Category 5E cable. For this example, I will be using the EIA-568B color code standard. Install the spacer by placing the orange and brown pairs on the outer edges and the blue and green pair in the top and bottom. For the best performance, the second cable end should have the blue and green pair reversed. Remove the twist from each pair, being careful to leave at least one half of a twist within the spacer. Try to keep this half or full twist to improve performance. Place the pairs in the correct order for the color code you are using. Cut the wires at an angle to make installing the management bar easier. Be sure to leave at least a half inch of conductor to install the management bar. Slide the management bar onto the wires. Then, using a pair of pliers, pull the wires while setting the management bar all the way down to the pair spacer. Cut the conductors flush with the end of the management bar. Insert the prepared cable with the management bar into the plug body. Be sure to get the cable pushed all the way to the front of the plug. Bend the strain relief flat against the cable jacket and shield. To make crimping easier, partially pre-bend the strain relief tabs. I am using the HTS 2500 Series Single Step Crimp Tool to crimp this plug. Seat the prepared end into the tool making sure the strain relief is completely inside the tool. Cycle the crimp tool handle completely closed to ensure a proper crimp. Trim the excess shield material at the back of the strain relief for a finished look. For this installation, I chose the snap-on style boot. This can be applied after termination of the cable. For more information on this and other free video tips and tutorials, visit Elcom's website at www.elcom.com.